to me, love. This is beer review number 15. This week, our beer comes from the Evil Genius Beer Company. Ma the Meatloaf references a movie from Wedding Crashers where Will uh, Ferrell has already progressed to crashing funerals in order to find dates. We can see here it's a mango vite ale. It's 5.5 ABV. Ale with natural flavored added. You got your government warning over here. You got your location and your recycling information here. Pretty simple. The Evil Genius Company itself is probably one of my favorites because they come out with some crazy names and I've heard a rumor about how they actually name this stuff but their website demonstrates their naming process altogether in one simple graphic a graphic of nonsense which makes me laugh so this is your beer review number 15 we're gonna go to the website like we always do and we're gonna to research what kind of information we can find the website is not as elegant as many of the other ones but it's simple they list all the uh, beers as they do it, and it's, like I said again, simple. You've already seen my Purple Monkey Dishwasher, which is probably one of my favorites, and Ma the Meatloaf. It says it's a Belgian white ale. Ma the Meatloaf is a Belgian-style white ale made with a signature evil genius twist. We start by brewing up a classic Vit beer spiced with coriander and orange peel. Belgian ale yeast takes over from there, creating an easy drinking fruit forward wheat beer, which we then make t uh, totally unique by adding mango in the fermenter. You never had a wheat beer like this one before, so like I said, it's 5.5. The IBU is very low, extremely low, 11. Malts are two roll carapils in wheat. Hops, Howler Tau and Sows, and it's available in May, June, and July. So this is your summer beer. You can get this in draft and also in your bottle. So let's do this beer pour. I will probably be adding what my wife suggested earlier, an actual beer review on beer gadgets. Let's do a little bit more focusing. So we're going to sit there and pour this into there. Oh, look at that. Like the last wheat beer that I had, which was the Alex Lemonade Stand through Sly Fox. That's a very clear beer and transparent. Uh, it's not completely filtered out. You can see the little particulates in there, but the carbonation looks phenomenal, and somehow I managed not to have any head on this beer. Oh, my. You can really smell, smell the mango. Um, I can't really smell any coriander or orange peel, but... What a delicious looking beer. So overall appeal, I'm going to give this beer, uh, let's just go a 7 out of 10. Overall flavor, uh, I'm going to go all the way up to a 9 out of 10. We're going to round this overall score for the beer review this evening for Evil Genius's Ma the Meatloaf, the Mango Vit Ale, up to an 8 out of 10. So... Uh, some other notes. I watched another beer review this evening as he was live. I'm going to share his information in my videos um, either at the end or in one of the card forums or maybe both. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe on his page. He's very interesting. Um, he offers some other things that I do not offer. <laughs> but like I said already before, I'm adding something new with this um, beer review number 15. In beer review number 15, I've already released a video today where I call it My Passions Collide. It's going to be a playlist where both life, beer, fitness, and pizza will collide together. Like I said, I hope fitness and beer do not collide because the last time I did that, I was pretty unshaken. I'm not unshaken. I was pretty not well off. So, And you can see it right there. I was able to add the fermentation filter to that IPA. Yes, it's an IPA. I know people don't like IPAs, but what I would like to do is, is start simple into this process of brewing my own beer and then being able to share share that with the world. So 
the review that I'm going to be uh, sharing in the comments at the end and also in a couple cards throughout the video is called Dickie's Beer Review. Um, some other beer reviews that I'm finding, I'll also share those in the f uh, future though, with the hopes of growing each other's channels so that you can find the passion that each of one of us have. So if you'd like to see any other type of videos, pizza, fitness, or beer, let me know. Um, I've been creating some crazy pizzas at home for my kids to try, and I could share those recipes with the world if you so deem that it's necessary. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and like always, drink in moderation, and don't overdo it. Good night. So just to make the videos more efficient, I'm going to put my big old head in the video, and that's it. So up here, we're going to have our subscribe button over here. We're going to have a video that YouTube says... It's going to be recommended down here as my most recent video. And then over here is going to be a video that I select. Have a good day.